Team coverage turns a local public works crew staying busy in this latest winter blast. Western Mass News reporter Kaylee Pugli spoke with one Springfield resident about how he's staying safe from the ice. And she joins us live from the Springfield DPW with more. Kaylee, what can you tell us? That's right, Taylor and Jordan. Local DPWs have been pretty busy lately keeping roads clear and residents also who've been trying to keep their driveways from getting too slippery now. Luckily for them, there's a pile of sand available outside Smeeds Arena here in Springfield for residents to grab and disperse over their property. Something resident Eddie Hosey is taking advantage of this morning. Take a listen. Uh, coming out this morning, I noticed there was a lot of ice underneath the snow. And I was slipping, so I said I better go get me some sand because without that sand, it would have been some problems. <laughs> yeah, so I'm glad to have it. And the Springfield Department of Public Works is reminding everyone to move their cars off the streets as well. There's a citywide parking ban in place right now, and city officials are out ticketing today. So if you're parked on the street, you might have to pay one, and you may be at risk to be towed. Now, Springfield DPW director tells Western Mass News his team is monitoring the snowfall and getting ready to both plow and lay down sand as the snow piles up, and they could be out there into the night. Now, coming up later on Western Mass News, here from the Department of Public Works on how they're staying ahead of this with multiple rounds of snowfall this week. And of course, you can head to westernmassnews.com for all information regarding closures, parking bans, and all you need to know ahead of this winter blast. But for now, live in Springfield, Kaylee Pugliese for Western Mass News. We also got it all screening, or streaming down there at the bottom of your screen. Kaylee, thank you. Remember, we want to see what it's looking like where you live. Obviously, the snow. Send us some pictures to share it on our Western Mass News app or email share it at westernmassnews.com. And guess what, folks? You may get on the air or online.